Hello YouTube, Tim here. Sorry about the unsteady cam, but I don't have the tripod set up for this yet. What I've been doing is heating the Instamorph here and then curling them, the, f the outer two outward, the inner two inward. This is the last one I need to do. Let's try and uh, curl it a little bit now. I I've heated it with the heat gun for about a minute. Ten seconds on each side, and then I rotate it to the, the next side. See how it's a little bit out of alignment there too. So what I'm going to do is put a little sideways pressure on it until it comes right back into alignment. Then I'm just going to shape it. And there's the there's the tooth. Dragon's teeth. Pretty sweet, huh? Anyway, this has been a very intense build. I'm very happy with how it turned out. The Instamorph works beautifully as a sheath for the PVC core and also the PVC serves to stiffen the Instamorph and also reduce the overall cost of that piece. I think it's a perfect match made in heaven. The transitions here, uh, I'd like to get it better. I'd like to do better in the future, but I still think it's fairly well hidden by this new stripe which I've added as well as the faux finish throughout. The bow looks pretty cool and uh, yeah. Hopefully before this video you'll have seen the shooting video. I'm recutting the knocks a tiny bit. They weren't quite deep enough. I'm going to angle them just a little bit more. I also pinched the tips. A lot of the bows that I have... Let me go over to the tip. Okay. So a lot of the bows that have a forward cant to the, uh, to the sia portion but aren't heavily... If the string is not short enough, what can happen is that it'll have a tendency to have the string hop right off. That happened with a lot of my Mirkwood bows. You'll notice they have very heavily canted forward sias. Now, the problem being the sias tend to be a little bit thicker and wider, and, uh, it sh and I usually don't have them cut so deeply and at an angle. What I'm doing is I'm going to recut this now. I pinched it. That caused a little bit of delamination of the epoxy. Then what I'm going to do is go forward and recut the knock a little bit at a slight inward angle, rounding the bottom here. I also built up the edge. So those three changes should make this just perfect. If it were a simple, small, snug loop, that big, say, there would be no problem. But because the string loops, let me grab it. So sorry about moving the cameras. I'm going to use image stabilization, but I know it's going to look kind of vomit-inducing. I'll try and keep it to a minimum. This is the string loop. So you see how large it is in relation to the sia. The the knot is just going to be just below the uh, this section right here. So that creates that problem. Otherwise, it'll tend to ride, let's say with a smaller loop, it'll ride in an angle inward like this. There's just not that problem when it's almost 90 degrees to the, uh, the the surface of the knock. That's when we have the problem. So I should have seen that. I should have preemptively taken care of it. But now that I I haven't even shot the bow, but I know it's going to be an issue. So I'm going to go ahead and fix it right now. Anyway, two cool things. I hope you like that. The Instamorph teeth and talking about the knocks. Thanks for watching and sorry for the uh, bumbly blurry cam. See you guys.